turn the page to SEP IRAs. This is a special type of IRA which allows you to put up more into your IRA, uh, but you have to make it available to all your employees. You can't discriminate. You can't say, I want you to have one, but you can't have one. Or the boss is going to have one, and nobody else is going to have one. You've got to make it open to everybody. The contributions are excluded from the employee's taxable income. And the contribution, <coughs> excuse me, the contributions are limited to a lesser of 20%. <coughs> It actually says 25%, but there's like a little mathematical calculation that it really actually comes out to 20% for the employee's compensation. And this is for 2015 or 53,000, whatever the lesser is. Like I said, you cannot discriminate. And the deadline for contributing is April 15th, unless you file an election, and then you have until October 15th, okay? But if you file your taxes before April 15th and you, you want to contribute to your SEP, you can't wait until October 15th. You have to file an, a, an extension. 401k. Um, I know some of y'all have a 401k. This has to be salary deferred. And what that means, it has to come out of your paycheck. So what does that mean? That means that the limit, the contribution limit for the date is what? Right. The end of the year. <coughs> I've had some clients come in and they have a 401k and they owe some money and say, well, can I put something in my 401k? No, you had to do it before December 31st. And the employee contribution limit is 18000 2015. If you have the money available and you have employer matching, I would say do as much as you can without having to bargain your credit card to do it. Simple IRA. A lot of people get that confused with the traditional IRA and it's, it's not the same thing as a traditional IRA. It's more like a 401k. And it's, it's an acronym, Savings Incentive Match Plan for Employees. Again, this is salary deferred. Like I said, it's more like a 401k. Again, it has to be done by December 31st. The, for 2015, the employee contribution limits are 12,400. And the employer can match up to 3% for the employee salary. Now, if the employee is not putting anything into it, the employer can't put anything into it. The employer matches up to 3% of the employee salary, but not less than 1%. <coughs> and if, you're, if you have some employees and you're thinking about you know, doing some benefits, this is a cheaper way to go than a 401k. It's less paperwork to do. Some other considerations. Uh, age 70 and a half, the required minimum distribution RMD kicks in. And if you don't, if you don't pay attention to this, you're getting some get severe penalties. The next point I'm going to highly emphasize, take out of your retirement plan only the amount that you actually need. Don't take out 100000 just because you can take it out. <coughs> I had a uh, situation, it was a first time client, it was a mother of a son that she moved up from Houston, just got through going through a divorce. She got half of her husband's settlement, her half of her husband's uh, retirement for the settlement. And she cashed it out and bought a house for cash. It was like 175000 Well, a couple things going on that pushed her in a higher tax bracket. She would have normally been in the 15% tax bracket. This pushed her no. into, I think, maybe the 28, might have been 33%. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, so that's one consideration. Then she didn't have any money after that. She spent all her money on the house. And so she owes quite a bit of money. And it's like, I don't know how I'm going to pay that. She, what's that? She was over 59 and a half, so she didn't have to do the penalty. And before you do anything major, you can always consult a professional, like Ryan, or you know, if you have a financial advisor, or if you want some tax implications, of, you know, if you do this or do that, you know, consult a tax professional, come see me. Um, and we're going to talk about some of the strategies. What is better, a or a traditional IRA or a Roth IRA? Well, everything depends on the future. And nobody knows what the future's gonna hold, so we can only go with what we know today. And if you are in a higher tax bracket and you wanna get the deduction now, 
and you can get a deductible IRA, <coughs> then maybe go with the deductible IRA, the traditional IRA. If you're in a lower income bracket, and you're not, uh, <coughs> let's say you didn't have too much income, you wouldn't have too much income if you're in a lower tax bracket, you might want to do a Roth IRA, because it's not deductible, not 15%, no big deal, as opposed to 33%. And then perhaps when you're in a higher tax bracket, when you retire, you might be in a higher tax bracket, start taking the money out, you don't have to pay any taxes on it. Also another consideration, if all you have is social, social security, that's not taxable. You would have no, you have zero tax liability. If all you have is social security to live on, nothing is taxable. But if you have all these other retirements, it pushes you up over the threshold to make Social Security taxable, you could pay taxes on 85% of your Social Security at whatever tax bracket you happen to be in. But if you're taking money out of your Roth when you're older, it's not taxable, so it's not going to make your Social Security taxable either. So before you make any, before you make any major decisions, you know, just sit down and think about you know, what's going to happen in the future. If you're going to live a long time or if you're a, uh, a risky lifestyle person and you might you know, die five years from now, you might want to take all the money and run now. That's something I'm going to talk about, about Social Security right now. If you look back over here on the next to last page, you get this question a lot, should I take my Social Security when I'm 62? Uh, 66, I guess, is what it is now, or wait till I'm 72. Mm -hmm. And what is the answer to that question? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows what's going to happen in the future. However, if you have bad health, and you don't care about life, you know, you just want to take life in as it is, you might want to start taking Social Security as soon as you can. If you have good genes in your family and you plan to live to be in your 90s, you might want to wait longer. You can get more than long run in Social Security. But even then, you, know, you can go out here and leave today and you get by a semi-truck. 